Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode, this time episode, part 2 episode 3 I think, of the uh, episode 3. Anyways guys, let's continue to talk to people. I didn't treat him very well these last few weeks. Things got so complicated so fast. It became all about getting through each day. I'm trying real hard to remember the last time I told him that I loved him. I've been racking my brain. I just can't remember. I'm sure he knows. In his heart, I'm sure he knows. I hope that's true. All right, get going. I'll be fine. I appreciate you checking up on me. I should really get out ahead of this. Ah. Looks kind of crappy. Yep. Okay. <laughs> this place seems pretty secure. Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? <clears throat> oh, <laughs> almost didn't see it there. <coughs> Ouch. Yep. Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to... what the hell is she doing? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. Gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. You're all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's fine. I am Indian. Everybody get to bed. <laughs> I am Indian. Shit, I fucked up. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'll try. You'll do just fine. Yeah, That's bruh. We'll need it. Let's get that nice little nap. And then we're ready to go. Ooh. <coughs> Don't kick me. It's rude. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. Sure, dick. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herd's moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now, there are some folks might be sore about what happened and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here. Forgiveness. 
but proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Now, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? Well, let Reggie be an example I to you all. I was so tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't must even be earned. That. Pay attention. Kenneth will be I'll taking over later. Reggie's okay. duties outside okay. the walls. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. Michael will continue on I showing his value. Nice Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I, Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. Sir, I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. What the I fuck? Propose that one I... good smack across what the mouth the the fuck? will make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. What? Wait. I'm not sure with my hand that I... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on. Not some namby-pamby thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. No, you don't need to do that. She's already scared. She won't do it again. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. Sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Do it. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Sarah. Stop! You're not coddling that girl anymore. Better sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. <coughs> You're working in the armory. Follow me. Sure, bitch. Soil, coming up. God damn it. Oh, shit. Clementine. What you want, bitch? Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. <coughs> Well, that's it. You got it. <coughs> I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. Yes. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. At least it was mine going into it. Carver's the one who pulled the trigger. He's to blame. Yeah, but I surely didn't help matters. I thought if I was the one that found everyone, I could control it. Keep everyone safe. But that ain't how it went. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. It was cold. Well, you got them skinny arms, and you ain't wearing a jacket. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. 
When Luke approached me about it, I, I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food. Why didn't you? We, I mean. If I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. Yeah, bet. I justified my going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take this situation with the herd. That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. What changed? I don't know. I've been trying to figure that out myself. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little strange. <coughs> I'm not defending what he did. That was... I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. He killed Walter. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads, and Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for skiing. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. I don't know. Oh, you don't like it. it it's not that. I thought it was kind of cute. Well, this ain't a fashion show. It'll keep you warm. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Follow me. Come on. Okay, so let's do some slave stuff. Find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. Sure, bitch. Hey. You have to be tough, Sarah. Everything is harder now, but you have to be tough to survive. My dad never hit me before. Even when I was really bad. <laughs> Troy would have been way worse. Your dad had to do it. Carver made him. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard. Still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. No thanks. For trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem. Problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Oh, and just so you know, Bill yelled at <coughs> me this morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on, like, the thinnest ice with that guy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. 
While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Hey, so, is she gonna be okay? Cause what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I talked to her. I think she's okay. Good, good. Cause I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. That was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna <laughs> go work now. Okay, he's... Kinda like him, you know. Watch me. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know. I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Oh, shit. Oh, no. You didn't do any of your work, Clem. <laughs> Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Shit. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one shut arm, Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. We just... Time's up, Reggie. You had a task, but you didn't get it done. Looks to me like you failed. It was my fault. I didn't show Sarah well enough. I guess. No, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I, I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Thanks for the help, girls. Oops. What's wrong, Sarah? Are you okay? I no, gave no, you no, plenty no, of chances. Please, Bill, no, no fuck. No, 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 please. Ah! Oh Weakness, shit. Incompetence. It puts us all at risk, and it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Yeah, but anyways, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this episode, and I'll see you guys.